So I'm here in uh, Colorado State University at the Graybill Conference with uh, the organisers uh, Jeff, Gid Jeff Gibbons and Alex Gittleman and uh, Janine Ilian, who was on the, on the uh, organising committee. Uh, thanks everyone for, uh, for coming along. Um, and thanks for the conference. I've, I've, I think it's gone great. So um, I guess could we start by just sort of saying a little bit about the whole Graybill Conference thing and what the theme was this year? Sure, sure. So the uh, Graybill Conference this year was a, a joint conference, the Graybill Conference and the ENVR Workshop. The ENVR Workshops are biennial workshops, usually focusing on something in, stati in uh, environmetrics or statistical ecology. Um, and this year, the joint conference, the theme was Modern uh, Statistical Methods for Ecology. Um, I think we had 20 or so invited and uh, talks um, over three day over a three day period and a post really active student poster competition um, really a successful conference. Yeah, so I guess um, what was your favorite? What were your, what was your <laughs> favorite talks? <laughs> Personally, I think that some of the talks on animal movement were mm. particularly interesting to me because mm. it's not an area I have a lot of uh, experience in, but there's really interesting statistical uh, questions, and I think just in terms of application, I could definitely see um, some application areas where um, such tools could be applied, really. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening in animal movement. It seems to be ha um, moving quite quickly at the moment too. Yeah, yeah. So I guess who was there? There was uh, I guess Mevin Hooten is is in that area. There's uh, Roland Roland Lang Langrock. Yeah, he was he was uh, my my personal favorite. I hadn't seen him talk before, and I thought his his work was sort of really interesting. And um, Juan, Mar Juan Morales, right? Juan Morales and yeah. Devin Johnson. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, so there was that. quite a group of them. And Mervyn Hooten does that too, doesn't right, he? Right, right. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so I guess um, I guess what was Roland doing? He was uh, hidden Markov models, so that's when um, uh, it was particularly useful for things like birds where there's different states. So sometimes they're flying, sometimes they're just sort of walking around. And so there's sort of different states that they sort of switch between and you've got telemetry data. And, and um, yeah, he was talking about a, a fast way to do maximum likelihood stuff uh, that. But what yeah. I particularly liked about Roland's talk too is that he he sort of put a lot of different models under that umbrella of hidden Markov models. Like yes. Monster capture is showing up under the hidden Markov models. I think that's a great contribution to sort of unify yeah, right. a lot of that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, looking yeah. At, at it both from from the statistical perspective, you know, in terms of the hidden Markov models, but also from the applied um, yes. background and going through all the different data stories, basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's very clear, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there are a few other sort of talks sort of uh, getting at sort of unification and sort of uh, sort of general ideas going around as well, I guess. Um, yeah. Mm. Well, I thought that was, at least for me, quite interesting to see the big picture. Mm. I often, as an applied statistician, I often get bogged down in the details of one particular problem and um, perhaps I don't think enough sometimes about where it all fits together. And even in traditional areas like capture recapture, you can see new avenues where people are uh, still working and active today. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, I think one, one of the aspects I like particularly about the conference is that you had people who were, who were kind of what I would call maybe truly statistical ecologists. Uh, mm. You work on capture recapture essays and you very ecological topics. And then other people who work on more general topics um, but use a lot of st uh, ecological data or ecological questions like, you know, Spatial temporal modeling, for example, is not necessarily ecological, um, and these these were these kind of two groups of people were brought together quite well. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a conference only on the statistics and not a conference only on the ecological questions, but yes. very much you know over overarching. Yes. And, uh, I, I think every really talk good. did a did a very good job of bringing the scientific problems into the equation and, and really motivating the statistical work that way. So yeah. that was great. Yeah. Yeah. I think that axis between you know, more theoretical statistics and, and the applications was, uh, like you say, really important. But I think there's another axis from really senior experts in the <laughs> field to young researchers and, and even the students who I think they all uh, had uh, a good time interacting with each other and, and I think the, the younger people learned uh, from the senior people and received guidance and mentoring and vice versa. Maybe some of the older people saw the energy that's uh, still resonating in, uh, in the in 
the students today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was yeah. nice. Yeah, the size the size of the conference, of course, contributed to that. It wasn't huge, so you, like, everybody yes. could somehow talk to everybody at some point, which makes yes. it yeah. quite yeah. nice and accessible. Yeah. 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 So in terms of, of, of where the science is going, sort of where do you think the sort of the main themes or the main sort of directions that, are, that have come up here are? Or sort of where, where do you think sort of see things going? Well, I, I mean, I'm bring, probably bringing in my own bias, but I do see a lot with the sort of larger data sets and, and yeah. um, kind of combining of, of data from multiple um, collection sources and methods and so forth. I think that's a big thing that mm. is, is pervading a lot of our work. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I think changes in technology are driving changes in statistics. Some of mm -hmm. these new electronic devices, tags and accelerometers and so forth are, yeah. are really becoming more sophisticated and send back more data and different kinds of data. Yeah. And although we didn't talk about it much here, I think genetics is, is really going to change uh, the way that we do our work. Mm. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy, and it's precise. And so I think we're going to have to learn to cope with, with those kinds of techniques as we go ahead. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. To, add, to add to this, I, I also have the feeling that there is now, um, in a for a while, I think, statistics often kind of lagged behind the development. So there was a new method, and then some years later, oh, you know, we should develop some statistics for us, uh, for it. And, and now there's more um, some kind of culture of people anticipating, um, not completely anticipating all the technology, but kind of knowing, ah, this is coming, genetics is going to be a big thing, so we have to be prepared for that and not just say, oh, suddenly there's something, what do we do with this? I think it's it's more... You know, we are more um, used to the fact that technology is moving on quite fast and we're not just sticking to what we've always been doing but um, anticipating what's, yeah. what's going to come a bit more, I think, my feeling at least. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So uh, where's uh, Grable going next? Are they... Well, uh, this year we had uh, 20 invited speakers, about 145 participants, 54 people at the short course and a record-setting number of student posters, but so even the only the, way is up. What's that? <laughs> the only way is up. Uh, the only way is up. Next year, the uh, the Grayville Conference is going to be connected to the Chinese Statistical Society. Is that the right uh, name for it? Right. And instead of having twenty plenary sessions, they're going to run the three and a half days or two and a half days with fourteen concurrent sessions at all time. So it's going to be a very different feel to the conference wow. next year, yeah, right. uh, and it, it won't have the thematic focus as this one, mm. but the, the focus on themes is more traditional for this conference, and the modest size is more traditional too, so I think uh, next year will be a bit of an anomaly, but then we hope to get back on track with um, you know, other interesting areas of, of statistics. Yeah, okay. Oh. I'll say something about, um, so again, the ENBR workshops are these biennial workshops, so that yes. we're in the planning stages already for the 2016 workshop, and so I'd encourage people to look, you know, look for, for news about that in the coming months. Is the location going to be announced soon? Uh, I hope that will be announced um, hopefully by the end of this calendar year. Great. Yeah. Good. All right. Sounds good. Yep. Brilliant. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot for Thank your time. You. Thank you. Thank you.